I created a complete UGC video of this particular product by just writing one single prompt. Let me first show you the video and then I will explain you how I did it. This right here, this is my ultimate confidence booster. I get compliments every single time. This stuff right here, my secret weapon for a night out. I'm telling you, it's a total game changer. So normally to make a video like this, you would have to juggle a bunch of different tools. You'd have to start with your product and user image, then use one AI image model like Nano Banana or Seed Dream to combine them, then find a different model to write a growing review like Gemini Flash or GPT, and then feed all of that into a video generating model like Kling or Veo3, and then really pray for that lip syncing to look right. I'm not saying it's impossible, but you have to use and bounce between so many different apps and so many different models trying to piece it all together. This is where it gets cool. I was able to skip all that and use just one tool from Google to do everything. And that also, I was able to do this absolutely for free of cost. For anyone new to this, the tool's name is Google Opal. It's a mind-blowing application that lets you build your own mini apps with zero code. You basically describe what you need and it makes it happen by stitching all the different models that Google has to offer and then combine everything to get to your final product. You know what, let me pull it up and give you a quick demo of how it works and specifically how I was able to make this particular UGC demo. All right, let's get into it. All right, so before we get into the tool, I just wanted to share you the thought process, right? This is what I want to create. So step one, I want the user to have the ability to upload a product image and the user's own image or anybody else's image for that matter. Once that is done, then the tool or the application should automatically combine the two images so such that the user is now holding the product the way I was holding. And then the tool should automatically then also generate a dialogue that the user is going to say for the positive UGC review. And then the tool should then automatically generate the video with the music and whatever the person is saying, the dialogue that, that, that was created in the step before. So basically, that is the workflow that I want the tool to generate. Now, in order for me to do that, this is a prompt uh, that I've created, right? So create an AI application that generates a UGC review. User basically uploads a product and photo of themselves. The AI then synthesizes a new photorealistic images uh, of the user holding the image. Then it automatically scripts a short review and then basically animates the image and create a five second clip. And then the final video is then presented to the user for playback or dialogue. So this is the prompt that I'm gonna use. And now I'm gonna get into Opal. So to get into Opal, I'm just going to type Google Opal and then click on the first link. And this is the landing page for Opal, right? So what we're going to do is create new and the prompt I just showed you there, I'm just going to copy paste the prompt over here and it is going to start doing the work for us, right? So I'm going to hit this and you will see that it's going to start generating the overall workflow for us. The big difference between this and any other tool out there is here it is doing the stitching of different AI models for us, right? So as that it would require different types of models as we had discussed before, because Google has this ecosystem of audio generation, video generation, text generation, image generation, and also basically combining of images, it is able to do that for us. So now let's get into what it has generated as a workflow. Okay, so this is the workflow it has generated. So as I had asked, it will take, it will ask the user to upload both product and user image. And then once it is done, then, you know, if I click on this, you can see that it is asking Gemini flash image, which is the nano banana image. Very simple, make the man hold the product in his hand. And then the next one, what you would see here is it is going to use the Gemini 2.5 Pro model to basically create basically the dialogue of which the man should be speaking. On the side, it's also using the Lyria model of Google to generate the music. Then once it is done, then it is using the Veo model to generate the output. And here, ultimately, it's going to present this as a final kind of an output as part of the web page. Don't forget that this is actually an app that it is building and you will be able to save it, share it with your friends, etc, etc. So it's not just a one time, but you can run this multiple times, right? So if I click on this on the app side, I can start working on this, right? So I clicked on start. I'm going to upload an image. The first thing which it is asking is to upload a product image. So I'm going to just very quickly get that. So here is the same image that, you know, of this particular product. And then I'm going to upload one of my images, which I had taken before. So let me find that. So I'm going to use this particular image of mine and then click on generate, right? So what it's going to do is it's going to run all of that. So I can go to the editor and actually go into the console, right? So 
here it has taken all the product images that whatever we had given you can see step by step on what is what it is doing it also shows a very cool animation of where it is in the process so it has generated the image of the person holding the product it is now working on generating this this dialogue so it's saying i'm telling you this scent for your next night out is absolutely unreal and now it's working to generate the final product right so which takes a little bit of a time so it's right here in its journey you can see based on the animation and it also gives you an understanding of where it is and then once it has done generating the video and including all of the, di these different things right so you can say that generate dialogue it is combining all of these different things into one using the wave model and you can always if you want to go ahead and edit any of these steps you can do that for example i can go here and change it to any other model of my choice so at each step i have the capability to go ahead and change it but then right now i think it has done a great job in selecting the right kind of products you also have the ability to actually change the prompt so you can actually like suggest and change the prompt yourself so that that gives you the flexibility of it so now it has already generated the video and it's working on the last step which is generate a responsive web page center around like a product video right so again the idea is it is an app where you will be able to see the the displayed video as an output and once it is done then you are also able to download the image so we'll wait for that for a second and then we'll come back once it is ready all right looks like it is ready let's let's look at the final outcome so this is the video that it has generated let's see i'm telling you this, this is, is the, the scent, scent for your, your next, next night, night out, out. But it's, it's absolutely, absolutely unreal. It's awesome. So you can see that this is the the output here in the app, and you have the capability to also download it. And you know you can go ahead and upload a different kind of a product. Like let's say I have this phone, and then my picture, and it will generate a different output. All right. I hope this was helpful. This was one of the many use cases that you can actually achieve out of Google Opal. If you have more thoughts or more questions about what kind of things, what kind of use cases you can solve, please do let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, please do hit that like button and subscribe and please share it with your friends. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.